Hey everybody, it's Wiltshire12345 again. I'm going to show you guys how to make XMB waves. I'll leave the name waves and the tunnel waves for different videos due to the 10 minute length. Anyway, let's get started. The requirements you're going to need is Photoshop, CS3 or CS4, whatever makes you comfortable, GIMP or Corel Painter, I think it's called. Anyway, let's get started. Preferably Photoshop, first of all. Uh, this program will be in the description. It'll be called TGA Wave. I'll show you guys how to use that in this video. All right, now that Photoshop is open, first thing you want to do is make a new file. Have the width and height 128. Everything else is fine. All right, and the background has to be black. If your background's white, change it to black. All right, first thing you need to do is select the ellipse tool and hold shift to make a perfect circle and select your color um, let's see what I should do I'll go with red so I'm going to recreate the circle here Now we're going to center it. You know, you can use the arrow keys to uh, kind of nudge it around. Alright, once that's done, you go to layers, or sorry, yeah, you go to layer, rasterize, and shape. Once that's done, you hold control and select the circle and shape one. You'll see these lines. What you need to do next is select, modify, and contract. Okay. What you do here is you select as many pixels as you'd like. The less you have, the thinner the circle will be, and the more you have, the thicker it'll be. So I'm going to go with 7 because I want mine nice and big. Actually, you know what? We'll change that back to 9, actually. 9. All right, once you've done that, hit delete. When that's done, you go to the granite tool. Go here. This has to be the opacity has to be 100, this side has to be black. This side has to be white, and the opacity 0. Alright? Once you've selected that, click to this kind of image here, and once that's complete, you do this. Just drag and drop it anywhere. Once that's done, you're good to go. Alright, next thing you need to do is go to Image, Mode, and Index Colors. Flatten Layers, press OK. Alright, you need Local selective as the palette, the colors as 32, forced black and white, transparency, transparency, sorry, checked off, dither, diffusion, amount 75%. If you have that, you're good to go. I'll leave these settings up here for a bit so you guys can uh, have a look at them. Alright, that's long enough. Alright, after you've done that, you can save your wave as, uh, make sure it's Targa, TGA. .tga, and you can name it whatever you like, so I'm going to name mine red. Put it on my desktop. Alright, now that's done, you can exit out of Photoshop, GIMP, or whatever you're using. Open up TGA Wave, find the target image you created, and drag and drop it in the TGA Wave folder. Alright, once that's done, you click the Windows Batch file called Start. You'll see this, it'll come up with a list of the ones you've created. As you can see, mine is here, it's called red.tga, so red.tga. Alright, now that's that's completed. If you hit any key to exit, you can uh, you can exit out of that. And here's the wave file that you need to copy into your Flash Zero. Well, I'm going to go get my PSP, so I'm going to pause the video until I get it. Alright, now that I have my PSP with me, I'm going to uh, show you guys what to do with the Flash Zero. Go to the recovery menu holding the R trigger when you reset your PSP. Go to advanced and toggle USB bracket Flash Zero bracket. You need a memory card in your PSP to do this. I don't know why it doesn't show up if you don't have a memory card. Alright, what you need to do is go into VHS, resource, and find the system plugin BG that you've created. Drag and drop it in there. Copy and replace, you're good to go. Alright, now you can exit out of the USB. 
and exit out, I'm going to enable Remote Joy. And show you guys the wave that I've created. There's the wave that I have created for you guys. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the background to make it look better. Um, yeah, I like that one. There you go. Well, that's how you make XMB waves for your PSP using Photoshop. I will show you guys how to make name waves and tunnel waves. There's another way you can do this using paint. I'll review that quickly because I'm running out of time here. So I'm going to kind of be rushing here. So you go to paint, you make a new one, resize it to 128 and 128 for width and height. Make the background black as I said before. Make two lines, whatever color you like. Doesn't matter. It's up to you, not to me. Um, and save it as a BPM or BMP, sorry. basically the same steps as you had before just I'm gonna name it T save it to my desktop and open up Photoshop yes. right now that it's open you go to new or sorry open open your image you've made and I will be giving you guys a template for this method. It'll be included in the other stuff. So what you want to do is select all, copy it, and paste it in there. Image mode, index colors, merge layers, remember local selective, everything else is good, okay. And save it as a target. Again, save it to your desktop or wherever you have it. I'm going to name mine t.targa. Exit out of Photoshop again with TGA wave. Drag and drop the target in there, and then you start the Windows batch and t.tga. Now that it's done, I can enable the recovery menu on my PSP. Oops. So, what I want to do is go to advanced, toggle the USB flash. Sorry, I'm rushing, I'm running out of time to do this video. So, VHS, resource, find the system, BG or system BT plugin whatever and exit out of the recovery menu no 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 all right I just might have broke my PSP so yeah we're gonna have to see what happened uh, yeah I can't show you guys the one I made so have a nice day. I just broke my PSP. See you later. Hey everybody, it's Will Chair. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry about the little malfunction with my PSP. I accidentally pressed flash or uh, reset flash one settings. So uh, in the advanced menu. So this method does not break your PSP. First of all, so I have to be pretty quick here because the 10 minute limit on YouTube. So um, what I'm going to do here is get the wave that I made before, the one that I tried to put on my PSP, and then it broke itself. So, what I have to do here is uh, open up VHS resource and then drag and drop this in here. Okay, now that that's done, that's done, that's done. Okay, I'm going to open up a new remote joy since that sometimes fails on me. Alright, now that that's open, I can go back, exit out of the recovery menu, and I can show you guys what's going on here. Alright, there's the wave that I made. As you can see, for every one line I made, the PSP multiplies it by two. So, I'm going to show you guys what firmware I'm on just pretty quickly. I'm on 5.50 Gen B. For anything that's over 5.00, that includes MP3. If you have your theme setting on original, you'll break it. So, you have to have it on classic for these XMB waves to work. I don't know why. But for anything uh, 4.01 and below, you don't have to change your theme setting to classic. I don't know why. So, there you go, guys.